So, that's a wrap to my studying today yeah. on the Upron cell cycle reproduction system. Done. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. I've been studying since like 4 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock p.m. 5 hours and finally gonna have dinner. It's um it was very interesting. Um learning about, you know, the menstruation cycle, the hormones that you release when you get, you know, menstruating, you know, the process when you have baby, spermatogenesis, and I'm doing the homework at the same time, so it's definitely helping and just Right now, I'm in my second month of content review of the MCAT, and I'm just trying to really grasp as much as I can, so that way, next month, I'm going to start doing the practice questions, so I learned a lot. I'll show you guys my notes in a second. All of this on reproductive system started off with the operons and how this all happens in the prokaryotic um organisms definitely have to know this for the MCAT um I was doing my questions at the same time definitely learning how to time manage my things better because this stuff takes such a long time you know you just the more you study the better you'll get I studied um cell cycle all the phases um process of mitosis was very important because this is definitely something they're going to test you on um, all the phases, prophase, and then mitosis, all of this, all my questions, and then I also studied meiosis, which is basically mitosis, but it happens twice. It goes through the four phases, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. This is meiosis one, and this is meiosis two. Meiosis one is where there's a differentiation. You have crossing over in prophase you have you still have this is the same the chromosomes made at the metaphase plate but then here you have separate of homologous pairs and splitting but then meiosis 2 is exactly the same like mitosis but what is interesting learning about like man the process now for women it is very interesting i want to show you guys um potent let me show you really quick okay so for woman it's interesting so for woman you start off with an ogm then you have a primary oso and then meiosis one you can what was it you will not finish meiosis one until you ovulate so basically when you get your your menstruation cycle is when you finish um meiosis one which People typically get their menstruation cycle, like, let's say, um, you know, from 15 years old to 18 years old. For example, that's when they're finishing meiosis 1. That takes already a whole bunch of years. Then meiosis 2 does not happen until they fertilize. So can you imagine how long that can take? Some people that have not, you know, they don't have children until later on in life, 20s, late 20s, early 30s. You can literally spend 30 years without undergoing meiosis 2, without fertilizing. That's very interesting. While men, on the other hand, can have one sperm and boom, have four sperm every day. Every day they go through this process right away, like millions of sub women. We have to wait years for these things to happen, for us to undergo meiosis 1, meiosis 2. It's very ironic. This was like really mind-blowing to me. Um, these are my notes. So we can only have two polar bodies. This is, um, the ovary. So ovulating releases the second oocyte when you're about to have a baby. Then I learned about the repro reproduction system of the ovaries. So everyone is born with this specific follicle, which is called primordial follicle. Once you have this follicle, you have a specific hormone called follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, that stimulates this follicle from growing and growing and growing and growing until boom. It grows so much, you ovulate. And this is a process um, 
that it kind of liberates the ovium from releasing into the world. Um, hormones, it's something so simple and so complex. Your hormones, especially like the female reproductive system with estrogen, pedestrian, it's very complex. And, you know, birth control, that stuff is very complex. Um, so this all starts in your brain. It releases into the pituitary gland. It releases this hormone, FSH. It grows and it produces more and more estrogen. Then once more estrogen comes along, you have a surge of LH. LH is what allows you to ovulate right here. So all this is going on and then you have LH that helps you ovulate. Once you ovulate, you get a lot of corpus callosum, which produces estrogen, um, pedestrian. Then this waits, waits until two weeks later, your corpus colludium decays. So once it decays, you start to lose pedestrian, so your uterine line starts to shed, and this is a whole process of menstruation. So let's say this is, you know, your inside, let's say this is your, you know, the inside of your body, and pedestrian so the more pedestrian you have it holds up this u um uterine line so that way you do not menstruate but once you lose pedestrian the line starts to shed so this line starts to shed out and that's why you menstruate you start to bleed so birth control pills stop this process they they have a lot of progesterone so that way you are able to hold this you three in line and you don't menstruate it holds together so it stops menstruation let's say so yeah um if you get pregnant it's a whole different story um let's say you get pregnant it releases this specific hormone that's super important called Ooh. hcg which this hormone allows you to test whether you're pregnant, but you cannot use this, you know, you cannot use like, you know, pee out and test this hormone when you're pregnant because this hormone is only detected in the very first trimester. So let's say, you know, let's say you want to urinate to test your HCG and you're, you know, one or two months pregnant, it will work. But let's say you're four months pregnant, it will not test, um how much you know how pregnant you are it's only in the very early stages of pregnancy so um, this is like your whole urethra um uterine cycle um you go through your lh is super high has this big peak right here um and then lh makes pedestrian so that's why you have pedestrian after here and spiking up after um, the first one is estrogen. Estrogen is A. It starts to go up. As estrogen goes up, you have FS, FSH going down. So this goes up and this goes down. Wow, this is amazing. Ovaries, all this stuff is awesome. So, yeah, that's what I learned today. Um, I'm, get, I'm able to check two things off of my list. This is such a big deal for me because normally this process will take me f like six hours, but it took me four hours because I did the homework. I did the video, the lecture, two hours plus the homework. Boom. Done. Ah, that's a wrap of the reproductive system today. So stay tuned. Oh, by the way, I was also fortunate. You know, God is so good. I knew someone there from high school it gave me a piece of chocolate good for my um you know mental stimulation and my proctor was actually my high school ap economics professor and she was my proctor like god always puts people that i recognize in my path and i'm so grateful i'm hoping for the best and pray 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 is the best thing you can do have faith and believe in yourself